I'm going to show you a new feature added to QImage 1 which expands the options for spacing out prints on the layout. First let's take a look at some of the layout options we have. If I add a couple of prints here, we have these layout options down below which are IntelliSpace, IntelliCenter, and IntelliCut. Each one gives you a different layout in most situations. IntelliCut leaves no spaces between the prints and optimizes page usage. IntelliCenter puts a nominal spacing between the prints and sends everything on the page. And IntelliSpace is kind of a compromise. So you get the space between the prints, but you're also trying to optimize the paper usage. Now I'm going to arrange some different size prints on the page here. I already have a 5 by 7 I'm going to add a few more sizes so we can see that the page gets quite full. We have eight prints total. And we notice that in the vertical there's a quarter inch gap between the prints. But in the horizontal that gap has been shortened a little bit so that QImage 1 can fit more prints on the page. Now this has always been the default behavior. So QImage 1 has these new controls on the print settings tab that let you control the gap between prints yourself. Now right here this is the default that QImage 1 has used so far. The gap between prints is a quarter inch. And that gap has not always been enforced such as situations like this where we can see that you can fit more prints on the page. Well first of all some users have said they really do want that quarter inch gap enforced even if the layout is no longer optimal. So this new control, if we check the box here, you'll see that the layout updates and now we have a quarter inch gap in both the horizontal and the vertical. And we've still managed to keep all eight prints on one page. Now I'm just going to toggle that enforce minimum gap off and I'm going to increase the ideal gap to 0 0.5 inches. You'll see once again that we get that gap in the vertical but the horizontal gap stays the same. Now if we enforce the half inch gap, you can see the gap is, in, is enforced in both directions, but we've also had to go to a second page to accommodate that spacing. Now I'm going to show you another example. I'm going to turn off the option to enforce the minimum gap. I'm going to turn on IntelliCenter. I'm actually going to remove all these prints. And then I'm going to select all the thumbnails. And I'm going to add them all at 3.5 by 5 inches. Again, this is a layout you'd expect to see from QImage 1. It's fit these eight prints onto the page, recognizing that it has space for a ninth, and this is why it's picked that layout. Now, someone might have an intention that they really would like to have a, a gap so that all the prints are spaced evenly. So once again, we can leave the half inch gap here, toggle on the enforcer's minimum, and you see now we have a layout which is less optimal, but maybe preferable to have a half inch gap in both directions. We can set the gap to something smaller, such as 0.1 inches, and you can see that that's what we get. We can also set it all the way down to zero. This gives us something new which we didn't have before. Now the prints are all touching without having to be in IntelliCut mode, which would put the prints in the top left corner. Similarly, we can have an IntelliCut mode where the prints in the top left corner, but define a small gap so that we're saving space on the page, but we still have a little gap between the prints, so we're not going to cut away the material of the image. And the final thing to show is that this also is respected in auto roll length mode. So if we turn on auto roll length, we're in IntelliCut mode, but we're defining a small gap. We can set that gap all the way down to zero, or we can also set it to something larger if you want to have a little more space in layout mode. And this applies to each of the different Intelli modes at the bottom of the live view. So I hope you find the new uh, gap controls helpful in making your layouts just the way you want them. Thanks for watching.